Hello friends, welcome to my new video. In today's lesson, I will teach you on how to deploy the shortcut desktop to all the users that are under our domain. Uh, as you can see here, this user, they get uh, my shortcut from our domain controller or from our server. The first one is like, you can say the company website and the second one is a public share. This one we can also like do uh, share uh, us in the previous session but the purpose of this session is to send the shortcut to our domain user let's say if we have any information that we want to share uh, to our staff and want want our staff to access through that url or through uh, the shortcut you can do or you can deploy okay now to do this okay first you go to i will close all you go to group policy management okay group policy management and then you expand your domain here okay i'm um, so tech dot local you go to group policy object this one you can create another object recently i just created this object shortcut desktop and now i will create another one to this uh to test for you now i will uh, create another object called shortcut okay shortcut info okay after that you right click on it edit you want to display to user so you go to user configuration preference and then you go to window settings and then you go to find the word shortcut here okay right click create new shortcut okay and then here you let the action update so all the time that user access or lock on their computer it will be updated and this name i will put company info okay i will put company info here and then this one i want to access the company website i want to send the shortcut so when the company when the client they access this url they will they can will uh, direct to our company website you choose url okay url i will put like my youtube okay let's say www.youtube okay or i can go to my company website for example here i will put youtube but if you have the website of your company you can create okay i will put the url here okay and then here you can also display the icon if you want to choose any icon okay you can okay now i will choose one icon here if, if you don't want to choose you just let it uh, default apply okay okay this one is the company info or the, the website you are and i also want the staff to access with my public share okay like i have new share folder it can be their private or it can be their public okay public folder we can also share so i will choose a public folder to share this one I will choose the uh, company like public public file. Okay, I put the public file, and this one you left the the same file system object. And this one I will go to my like public here. Okay, my file server, my property. I see. Okay, so I will use this URL. Okay. So I can paste the URL here, or you can also browse here, also the same URL. And this one is you want to set the icon. Okay, it's fine. You can set also the icon, or you can let it blank. I will choose one icon. Okay, I will choose this icon. Okay, apply. Okay, close. Okay, and after that, we have to link our GPO to our domain or to any specific group let's say if you want the url to apply only hr department you apply only hr or apply on the management group you can also apply here so i will apply all i right click on my ou and then link and this is gpo this is the uh, gpo that i just created shortcut info okay now it's linked we close it and you have to remember that every time that you 
do the group policy, you need to force it to be updated. The command is cp update cp update slash post. Okay. Now here is my client PC. Okay, this one is the one that I just do. I will leave it here. I will lock out this user. Okay. Lock out it. We need to lock out or update it before the policy is applied. Okay. Wait. Okay, now I will log into my David Lee, which is the user that is under my domain, homsotech.local. Let's see if the our website, our company website, and the shortcut share is coming to the user. This one is also important. We don't need to do one by one uh, to our client, especially like uh, you have the email or something. Okay. This one is it don't come yet. Okay, I will. If it don't come, you can also put here CMD or I miss one thing here. Okay, group policy management. I go to group policy management again. You have to see, you have to edit it because I haven't uh, sent it to the top. I right click edit. In this step, you need to configure this everyone. Shortcut. Okay. I go to uh, company info, property. This one everyone, location specific. We haven't uh, specific which part that this policy will be applied. Okay, it has many. You can also apply to start menu, all network place, all program start up. But this session, I will apply it on the top. Okay, you have to uh, click on here. Okay, this one I change the same. Okay, I miss this this one location to the top. This means I apply it on the top. Okay, after you change this, just close, and then I will write the command. GP update slash post okay then this one will be locked off again okay okay i log in let's see if it's coming Okay, you see, he is the one that we just get it. So, for example, if you click on here, it will be directly to the public share. You can also like create new folder or something here based on the permission that they set. Okay, you see, coming. And if I want to click the company info here, it will be directly to the URL that you have set. And here I uh, put the my URL of my uh, YouTube, so it will be directly to my YouTube. But if you have the your company website or any URL link, you can drop, so it will be access to that link. Uh, so uh, okay, that's all for today's lesson. I hope that you find this uh, lesson useful. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.